Season 5 is here, and today I am bringing you guys the most glitch build in the entire game. Now, I sent a message to my favorite YouTuber, also known as Clutch Up Next. If you guys don't know who Clutch is, man, Clutch is a GOAT in this community. Make sure you guys go check out Clutch's content, man. He made a whole video based on my build, and I am going to show you guys exactly why this is the most broken build in 2K. As you guys can see, I explained my whole situation to clutch and 2k corrupted my build and i was able to get every single one of my quests reset for those who do not know you can do two main quests that allow you to get eight extra badges so i already had the additional eight extra badges on my build before it had got corrupted after my build got corrupted i made a support ticket i received my build back from 2k and all of my quests were reset now once my quests were reset i was able to redo them and eventually i I had an additional 16 badges which makes this the most broken build in the game make sure you guys pay very close attention i am not only going to show you that you cannot replicate this build in any way shape or form but i am going to show you guys exactly how to recreate this build without the additional badges because this build is still extremely broken all right guys as you can see i am now on my two-way inside out creator now this is the glitch build here as i am going to go over all of the badges and all all of the attributes first so when i get into the my player builder i will show you that it is impossible to replicate the badges that i currently have on this build so as you guys can see if i go all the way to my badges guys we have 21 finishing badges 32 shooting badges 30 playmaking badges and 24 defensive badges now this is extremely broken guys that's what makes this such a glitch juiced out build i will go over the tutorial and i will show you you guys that you cannot get this badge spread and this build is just absolutely overpowered and just to show you guys that i'm absolutely not capping about this build i will go through every single attribute quickly with you guys before i get into the build tutorial as i want to show you guys it is the same exact build i just have glitch badges so if we go to our progression as you guys can see there's the attributes i'm just going to keep it on the screen for a second i'm going to get into the build tutorial so once i get in the build tutorial we will take a look at the badges and i will promise you that this build is absolutely insane all right guys now that we are in the my player builder it is time to show you guys exactly how to recreate this build and even without the 16 extra glitch badges this build is still very very overpowered pay very close attention guys i am going to show you how to recreate this build starting with position we are going to go with shooting guard now i like to go right-handed guys that is going to be personal preference for jersey number it does not matter moving on to the height guys we are going to go with six foot one on this build and for the weight we are going to go all the way down to 165 pounds that is going to max out our acceleration for the wingspan we are going to go up to six foot ten wingspan so that is going to give you a lot more defensive attributes and for body shape that is going to be personal preference i do prefer to go slight or compact i went slight on this build all right guys moving on to the attributes on this build now i do want to start with defense i believe defense is the most underrated part about this build as this build gets plenty of stops in the paint it gets plenty of steals i have no problem running no anchor and getting stops in the paint with this build as long as you have lock take on you should have no problems at all and it makes up for any lack of block on this build and you do got to keep in mind guys it is a six foot one build you cannot expect to have the best defense in the game on a six foot one build but for being a six foot one build this has some incredible defense so starting with the block we are going to go with a 60 block now what's that what that's going to do is give us silver chase down for the defensive rebound we are going to go with a 45 for the offensive rebound we are going to go to a 30 for the steal we are going to go all the way to an 88 now that is going to give you silver glove guys it's very very effective on this build i love getting plucks on this build i have no problem playing defense and 88 is all you need guys so make sure to throw that steal on an 88 and next moving on to perimeter defense we are going to throw the perimeter defense to an 88 
98 as well. So like I mentioned, even though we have a six foot one build, we have plenty of perimeter defense. We have plenty of a steal to get plucks. You got a 60 block. If you have lock take, you should have no problems getting stops on this build. For the interior defense, we are going to go with a 56 interior defense, guys. Now moving on to playmaking, Speed with ball, we are going to mo move up to a 91. And then once we get that speed with ball up to a 91, we are going to put our ball handle to a 92. And then finishing it off, we're going to go 80 on the pass accuracy. All right, guys, moving on to shooting. I did put the free throw at a 70. I am not a rec player, guys. I strictly play park. If you do play rec, even a 70 free throw, you are able to hit your free throws. You just got to lock it in a little bit more. But 70 is what I went with the free throw. When we get to the three-point shot, I went with a 89 three-point shot. That is very, very efficient to knock down your shots, guys. And on the mid-range, I went with a 75. I know that might be low for some players. I have no problems hitting my mid-range shots with a 75. I did not want to waste attributes too much on a mid-range shot. So I left it at a 75. And like I mentioned, I don't miss many mid-range shots. It's very easy to time. Just make sure you guys have the correct jump shot. Make sure you guys have the correct jump shot on and equip. I do have a jump shot video. That was a couple videos ago. You guys can check that out if you haven't done so. Make sure you guys check out my jump shot video. Um, but moving on to the finishing. For post control, we are not going to touch post control. We are not going to touch standing dunk. For driving dunk, we are going to go to an 86. Now that's obviously going to give us gold limitless takeoff. Going to give us all our most standard contact dunks. Any alley-oop contact dunks. All the most basic contact dunks we will be able to get with an 86 driving dunk. And I will get to the physicals as well, guys. So that will go hand in hand with the driving dunk um but moving on to the driving layup you want to put that to a 74 it's going to get you an extra badge point and then when you get to close shot you are going to want to go to a 79 so that's going to give you 19 finishing badges so finally guys going down to the physicals we got an 82 speed guys so we are going to go with an 82 speed on the acceleration we are going to want to go to an 82 as well for the strength we are going to want to go to a 50 and finally, for the vertical, guys, we are going to want to go to an 82 on the vertical. Like I mentioned, that goes hand-in-hand hand with the driving dunk. Having an 80 vertical allows you to get all the most standard contact dunks. Having an 82, I feel it's a little more comfortable. I feel like you get blocked a little bit less. You are on a 6'1". So the better your vertical is, the, the least likely your quick drops or safe dunks are to get blocked. So I like to go with an 82 vertical. And for the stamina on every single build that I have ever created, I always go with a 95 stamina guys so that is the exact build that i have created and that is going to give you 19 finishing badges 22 shooting badges 26 playmaking badges and 22 defensive badges guys obviously my build is glitched i get a lot more badges than this but i even with my extra badge that I have now, I am going to show you guys that you cannot possibly get the same badge count that I have on my glitch build. Alright guys, and now that we have went over every single attribute on this two-way inside-out creator, we are going to hit continue. And when we get to our takeovers, guys, one thing I want you to keep in mind, I did glitch my primary takeover on my inside-out creator. I have the shot creator take as my primary. If you guys look below, you cannot get shot creator take on this build so i have my primary takeover glitch to shot creator take obviously if you are a six foot one player you get the Trey Young fade. It's the most broken shot in the whole entire game. If you throw that on with shot creator take, you are not missing any fades. But if you do not know how to glitch your primary takeover, I would highly recommend going with spot up shooter and lockdown defender. As I did mention, with being six foot one, obviously you're not gonna have the best defense on any build being six foot one. But what lockdown defender allows you to do, you have an 88 steal and you do have a 60 block. So this allows you to play amazing perimeter defense. And if they do get into the paint, and you are if you do have double takeover activated you will get a lot of stops with lockdown defender alone as takeover so it's a very good and overpowered build either way you go whether it's on the offensive end and defensive end it's a very underrated defensive build and you guys cannot go wrong with these takeovers. We have built a two-way inside-out creator, guys. And that is the build that Clutch had displayed. Once again, shout out to Clutch, man. My favorite YouTuber. It means the world that you took my build and made a video out of it, man. That really meant the world to me. And thank you once again, Clutch. I am going to get on my 
original build to show you guys how much more overpowered it is. Alright guys, so I have hopped on the two-way inside-out creator one last time for you guys just to show you how overpowered this build really is compared to the original build. Once again, I have all of the same attributes as the build I showed you guys, but if we take a look at the badges, we have 21 finishing, 32 shooting, 30 playmaking, and 24 defense. Now, if you guys remember, the original build had 19 finishing, 22 shooting, 26 playmaking and only 22 defense so we have an incredibly large amount of badges compared to the original build and that is why this is the most broken build in the entire game once again man shout out to clutch man it meant the world for him to drop a video on my build that is my favorite youtuber he is the only reason i got into content creation i have been a big fan of clutches for quite some time for him to do that for me, it meant the world to me, man. For somebody to notice me as, as big as Clutch, man. He's one of the greatest content creators that I have watched. I appreciate him once again. To every single person who watches my videos, man. I love every single one of y'all. We on the road to 3,000 subs, y'all. If y'all could please hit that subscribe button. Make sure y'all like the video, man. Until next time, I'm out.